Hey everyone, my name is Adam and I am pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Advanced Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at AWS WAF, Web Application Firewall and specifically on bot control. We have recently seen a growing number of bots going to our website but also customer website and it can get you into trouble. So let's look on more. We will start with an overview of why AWS WAP control is essential. Then we will dive into an introduction of the service. We will compare common and targeted bot protections of AWS WAP. And at the end, I will conclude with a live demo in AWS Management Console. So why use AWS WAF bot control? It provides robust protection against a variety of bot attacks such as DDoS, web scrapping and credential stuffing. It focuses on blocking malicious bots, not the verified and good bots that could be some CO bots from Google and other stuff around. It ensures your applications remain secure and available. It also improves then user experience by reducing server load and provides detailed analytics for informed decision making. The seamless integration with AWS services simplifies deployment and management. As we will see a little bit later, it's really, really easy to deploy AWS WAF bot control. Also, definitely when you already have AWS WAF in, in place, but we will look into that too. So here we have data from our website bot activity over one week that I took from our bot control in AWS WAF. It indicates that 13% of the total requests are bot traffic. So there is a high number of requests from these bots going to our website. And what is the actual issue of, of bots going to your application or website? You get increased load and resource consumption, uh, traffic spikes and uh, resource drain. That's, that's the main issue. If you, for example, use EC2 behind application load balancer, some traffic spikes and uh, resource drains can definitely happen because of bot, bots overall. Uh, there is also a problem of content scraping, so bots can steal content from your website and for example put it on other websites and create the duplicates for, for your website. Uh, there is also analytics distortion for marketing, so bots can distort your web analytics. For example, in Google Analytics you probably can see some bot activity because the, if they go to your website Google Analytics will see them. There is also an issue with, with security threats by, by bots. Uh, there are DDoS attacks possible by bots and also the vulnerability scanning before that. So they can go through the application layers and uh, just scan through what you have open, what ports are open and other stuff. So this can be also very problematic. And how AWS Web Bot Control can help? Uh, you will get pre-configured bot categories, so it will identify and classify bot traffic into categories like social media, AI, search engine, and SEO. But also behind it, it will check if they are verified, verified or not. This is a big difference because verified bots like Google bots, for example, or Bing bots or any other search engine bots uh, are not harmful to your website and usually they are good for it. So this will be separated and AWS WAF bot control will not try to try to mitigate this issue. It will only try to mitigate the issue with the unverified bots. You will get this as a manager rule set, so you don't have to update it or anything like this. It will be updated somewhere behind in AWS. And it will monitor also the bot traffic, so you will be able to get a lot of information about these bots and these categories and how much bots are getting to your website. It's also a good start with only monitoring this, not blocking them. And yeah, the detection is also comprehensive if, if you want. There is some, something very special. 
Uh, it can also use AI behind uh, for behavioral analysis and also some, some kind of machine learning. And just to get a little bit deeper, there are there is two types of bot control in AWS WAF. There is common and there is targeted. The common one, this is the basic one that you will get when you start using bot control. Uh, it takes, takes a variety of, of self-identifying bots, uh, such as web scraping, search engines, and automated browsers. Uh, bot, bot protection at this level identify these common bots using tra traditional bot detection techniques, such as static request data analysis, but also like browse, browser agent statistics and other stuff around. Uh, but the targeted, it's more more difficult to understand. It's uh, like it's a better version of the common because you will still get the common, but something additional. And this can be also uh, connected to to uh, rate limiting and capture requests and also background browser challenges, and it includes specific detections for sophisticated bots. It can also learn from your real traffic. It is not something what is saved somewhere. It will learn by monitoring what is getting into your application usually because I, I think targeted bot control is more intended for ta application games and, and stuff that are not usual like websites for example wordpress and other stuff so this is targeted bot control but i will get into that also in the in the aws management console i will do this demo on really simple architecture i don't think it's necessary to understand if it's for application load balancer in aws if it's a s3 bucket if it's an api gateway with, with serverless stuff behind I will deploy AWS WAF on Amazon CloudFront together with bot control. So you will also learn how to deploy WAF on CloudFront, but I will just use the bot control. AWS WAF has other rules that you can use. I will provide some more information in the description of this video. And let's get to the AWS Management Console now. So we are in the AWS man management console and I will start just uh, with what I have here. It's very really simple. I don't want to get uh, to, to, to some application details or the website details. I only uh, will show you that I have one CloudFront distribution uh, that is deployed for a simple website. But this is not something we we need today. It doesn't really matter if it's a distribution, it's an application load balancer of, or API gateway. Just take in mind that AWS WAF rules are not, uh, you are not able to deploy them on EC2 instance alone. So I will go to AWS WAF, which is very really simple. So go to WAF. And uh, we will create a new web ACL. So let's go here. And as mentioned, it will be for Amazon Cloud from distribution. And we can just name it our, our ACL. It really doesn't matter. And uh, I will, you don't need to specify anything here. I will add AWS resources and because I only have one here, so it will be cloud from distribution. And anything else you can leave on default. And I will click on next. And uh, it will go to next step, which is add rules and rule groups. And as mentioned in, in, in my presentation, I will add some manager rules. So just go here and add manager rules. And this will be AWS manager rule groups it should be visible right away it's a bot control here as you can see there are many other uh, you can definitely implement other together with bot control so if you have already any any rule groups or the web app occurs you can try to implement it 
uh, there it's it's possible to deploy it when when you already have AWS WAF. Uh, as you can see, you can read a lot of stuff here. There's some uh, simple documentation from AWS, and as you can see, there is also common and targeted. Uh, today I will only show common uh, because if you if you want to start with targeted, it's on you you but the information today is mainly about common common bot control. And as you can see, we need to configure some other other stuff around. And uh, yeah, the X inspection level will be common. And uh, version, I don't think there is a lot of version, so we will use the default. Uh, this is very good if you want to scope down uh, the, the bot control. If you, for example, have uh, some subdomain or, or even like a path, for example, API or, or something like this, you can scope down the statement here. Uh, but I want to inspect all web requests. Uh, why it matters? It can also matter because uh, the the pricing is counted to based on the number of requests. So if you have a lot of requests to to the whole website, it's better to inspect requests only on on some scope down statements. Uh, and uh, there is also the rules itself. Uh, it's I I would start definitely with override to count so you are able to only monitor what is happening on the website and how many bots are going to maybe do some checking if you already have some issues with your website going down you can check by counting uh, the traffic if it's really matter if it's uh, based on bot bots for example because number of requests for your application load balancer can go higher because of the bots so i will select today override count uh, you don't have to also use any override here uh, a lot of stuff here is written like the rule action block but what is hidden behind is that uh, they they will only block the unverified bots so it's it's not like it will block for example google or anything like this but i i would definitely start start for at least one one month or may, maybe one week with count and uh, let's do that today and as you can see if i would have selected the target target uh, bot control inspection level I would get more here. Uh, it's it's very really complicated to say, but some of them are ML, which is ma machine learning, and some of them are based on tokens, and you have to connect uh, connect your application differently to to the AWS WAF. So today, let's make it simple. Uh, we will just save this rule, and I think that's all. Let's let's just recheck. And should be fine so let's add the rule uh, I don't think we will need to do anything here uh, there are a couple of other stuff with what you can set we only have one rule here so it's very simple uh, yeah I would definitely make the rule accessible in CloudWatch metrics and uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. So let me just go to it once more and create this web buckle. And uh, yeah, after some time it will be created. Uh, usually it takes only a couple of seconds to deploy AWS WAF on CloudFront. It's really not a matter of minutes or, or even hours. So it should work right away. I'm I'm not able to test it. What I will do is I will show you in my other account some some specific if you already get some some information because there there will not be a lot of stuff here uh, before before for example one week. So let me switch to another account. So I am in the other account where where I already have some traffic. 
so as you can see, uh, there is a traffic overview in in Web Echo. Uh, you can also go to rules and see uh, the bot control itself. But what what you get here mainly, as you can see, there is a specific tab here which is intended for bot control and. As you can see for now, I'm not blocking any any requests, uh, but it's it evaluated like six thousand uh, requests in the last couple of hours. Uh, yeah, you will get a lot of stuff here. There is definitely bot category that I mentioned in the presentation, but I don't want to get to to that uh, too much. As you can see, the non-bots, basically, this is not harmful. These are probably your users. And uh, there are bots uh, requests. And as you can see, unverified is almost half of the of the wolf uh, of the bots overall. And if you start blocking the requests uh, by the rule, so you can you will just go to rules and set it here, uh, edit the manage rule bot control and and block them you will see that only the unverified bots will be blocked and that's basically all there is a lot of stuff around it uh, you can go through 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 some stuff here you can go to also cloudwatch if you want and see some specifics over 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 the whole period of time maybe a one month to see if there are any spikes in bot traffic or or which which of them is the issue so that that is all for bot control let's get back to my presentation so that's all for today we looked into how how aws valve bot control works how it can help and hope it helps for your next cloud project feel free to reach out to us anytime bye for now